Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Grand Slam and uh, happy Tuesday, everybody that is watching on the day of release. Uh, today is Dunkirk versus Can. Can we get a win? Can we? Can we? Can, can, can. Uh, let's have a look at the game plan and see what we're going to do today. So uh, straight away, you can see Hassan is in awful, awful form. So he's going to have to make way for somebody. Uh, we may... Uh, let's have a look because uh, I need to bring Harrington onto the bench in the place of Pierre. I will get that sorted in time for the next game. Um, I'm I'm thinking about the possibility of playing Harrington out on the right hand side and at least starting with the 442. Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's give that a go. Why not? Okay, so we'll change the strips as well because there is a slight color clash there between the uh, the two teams. That's much more like it. And uh, let's kick off at the Stad Marcel Tribot in uh, in Dunkirk, of course. It's a home game for us today. Can the Seasiders get all three points against the league leaders? I would argue probably not. It's going to be a very, very tough ask. Hence why we're starting with the two men up top. Uh, I wouldn't be at all surprised if we very hastily changed attack. Depending on how things go in the early going, uh, Sanun is capable of playing in the attacking midfield role as well as on the right-hand side. We could move uh, one of the strikers into a, a wing role and uh, maybe just play Chikunte through the middle if we needed to as a lone striker. We'll have to wait and see how the game opens up, but uh, for now, here we go. And you can see the auto attack bar is working as intended. After my slight concerns about it a few episodes ago, it seems to have rectified itself. That's a decent pass into Sai. Down the line for Sarnoon, who... Lovely dummy from Sarnoon into the middle for Diara, and it's an early chance that's gone begging. Perhaps Chikunte would have been the better man to be on the ball, but beggars can't be choosers. Diara was the man in control of the chance, and it just goes flying over that crossbar. But it's a good opening salvo from Dunkirk. We're not holding back today. We're going to give as good as we get, hopefully. Gutteni doing a good job of blocking off the passing lane there. Cisse misses the header. And Sissoko will clear the ball as far as Harrington, who plays it back to Brunil. Into Gotteni, who passes it straight over to Sarnoon. Here's Diara. Back to Sarnoon again. 1-2 with Diara. On the ball now. Can he find a cross? No, he's a little bit heavy with his touch. And the defender takes advantage of that and cleans him out. And that's uh, good defending by Cissé. Oh dear. Well, Gotteni's managed to keep hold of the ball. I was worried for a second that we were going to cede possession. Harrington with an early cross. Diara in the middle. Couldn't get to it ahead of the defender. And it's headed out for a throw in for Dunkirk. 12 minutes in and it's all Dunkirk so far. It's very pleasing to see that this team are getting the hang of multiple formations as Diara goes again looking for the header. Can't quite manage it and now Shamal will lead a counter-attack for Can, Or will he? Because it goes back to Gonsalves. Kouagba wins the header. Here's Sanun. It's good from Chikunte. In looking for Diara, he might have a chance here, oh my word. Didn't quite have the pace to beat Ryu to the ball. It would have been lovely if he had, though. Here's Sarnoon once again on the ball, plays it in, looking for Diara. Diara taken down, edge of the area, is it? Not quite, says the referee. Here's Harrington. And he's taken out by Traore. Referee says it was a fair challenge, so play will continue down the left-hand side. It's played forward. Cissé and Mendy competing for it. It's headed by Cissé. Guagba will pick it up and uh, will play a long ball out to Sai on the left-hand side. Into Goteni. Chikunte, Diara. Looking for Chikunte again. He might have a chance here. He's in on goal. It's a good save by the goalkeeper. 
Chikunte should have done a lot better with that chance though didn't get any power behind it at all made it a little bit easy for the goalkeeper or easier I should say for the goalkeeper to get a hand to it as Sai chases down this loose ball that was aimed for Shamal but didn't quite have the legs and this is the problem that Dunkirk have at the moment they make one or two chances but they don't necessarily have the quality to finish them off and when you're making so few chances actually Sarnoon's done a good job here well he does a good job against the first man the second man wins the ball from him though Sai good tackle concedes possession as I was saying when you get so few chances you really do have to take them when they're offered to you and uh, we could be looking at the uh, the best chance of the game going begging, begging there as far as Chikunte is concerned Maraval with a great take in the air good confident take from the Dunkirk goalkeeper Diara looking for Chikunte again couldn't quite get the ball turned around the corner there it's a long one down the middle Kuagba competing in the air not quite winning it but the second ball falls kindly for Dunkirk it's Bruneel now Harrington and again he's far too easy to read and the tackle is deemed a fair one and in fairness it was it was a fair tackle I'm not going to complain about it as the ball goes over the top looking for Renusa but goes behind for a goal kick we need a little bit more creativity in those wide areas and if not then we need to get the ball crossed quicker because at the moment what's happening is we're getting balls into wide areas but then we're very quickly being closed down oh dear speaking of being closed down Shamal has the ball here Gotteni wins it back from him good tussle in the middle of the park there by Shamal and Gotteni here is Gotteni Diara still got the ball Harrington looking for Chikunte. Sarnoon chipping one in for Diara. Back to Sarnoon again. And there's the half time whistle. It's nil nil at half time here at Dunkirk. It's been a good first half of football. You can see from the stats that Dunkirk have dominated the play, but they're struggling in the final third. question is do I change things up maybe we can maybe we can let's have a look at changing things up then we'll move to the 4-2-3-1 formation but we are going to have to make some changes to the personnel Chikunte will continue up front Diara is just as good on the left as he is in the attacking midfield position Sarnoon tell you what we'll push Diara up just far enough that he can then play as a right wing forward Harrington through the middle in behind Jacunte we should be seeing runs from Harrington in the second half and Sarnoon giving us a little bit more defensive cover on the left hand side well, let's give that a go for the second half and see how it plays out we'll look to exploit the right hand side since we have the more attacking players down that side and you never know, maybe we'll get lucky with a, with a free kick or a loose ball from the defence. Here's Gotteni, he's got an overlap on the left if he wants to use it. He does. Sarnoon into the middle, Chikunte just not quite getting to it. Here's Gotteni to Harrington. Looking for Gotteni again, but not finding him. And we could have a problem here with the counter-attack. Here's Mendy. Shamal. Deminge good tackle by Sai and can we get away here we can Sanun oh well he's got away with it he has got away with it oh and that's a foul but sai has got the ball and he'll continue into the area with it cross into the box near post Chikunte and he's put it right down the keeper's throat and that's another great chance that's gone begging by the talismanic target man Played it forward, looking for Sarnoon. Comes off the defender, it'll be a throw-in. 
wonder how much longer it'll be before we see Troy Parrott into, introduced into proceedings. Yellow card here for the, uh, the defender. Advantage was played for the foul on Sarnoon as Sai picked it up on the, uh, the left-hand side. But the referee has now given the yellow card and warned the player not to do so again. Here's Sarnoon, early cross into the box. Jacunte looking for it. Forces the defensive header out. It'll be a corner kick. Sarnoon, Harrington underneath, looking to win it. Here's Jacunte. And again. And he can't find the finish. He's such a wonderful aerial threat. Yeah, I don't want to necessarily substitute him too early but that being said we need something and Harrington is being caught very quickly by the players around him Chikunte Sarnoon lovely from Sarnoon into the middle looking for Chikunte couldn't find him and this is a good counter attacking chance can have the numbers but do they have the passing just about they do yes goalkeeper picks it up throws it out immediately to Harrington and here we go on the counter attack Sonun back inside to Gotteni looking for Harrington and he finds him Sonoon into the middle, headed out by the defender, and it'll be another corner kick. Sissoko! Well, it was worth hitting, but it was wild and very, very far to the right of the post. Never looked close to going in, in fairness. Here's Chikunte. Oh, the pass is not good. The takedown was excellent, but the pass was really a lot further away from where it needed to be. Oh, off the post. The crossbar saving Dunkirk's blushes. I think that might be the first real shot in anger from Can. Very nearly caught out there. And I think now is probably the time to introduce Mr. Parrott into proceedings so Parrot comes on Sarnoon looking tired wondering about the possibility of bringing on Rochato for him I think we will do that and we may as well push him forward there we go so it's a much more attacking formation now with the two wide players playing as advanced forwards rather than as wide midfielders it will leave us vulnerable in on the flanks but uh, against the number one team in Ligue 2, it's worth the risk, I would say. Oh, that's dodgy. That's dodgy. It could be a yellow card here. The player not happy that he's been censored by the referee. But to me, I don't think Mendy can have many complaints. It's a wild challenge. He maybe gets some of the ball, but... He gets a lot of the player as well, and that's the referee's primary concern as the ball is fizzed into the feet of Rochato. Here's Gotteni. Dinked over the top for Harrington. For Rochato again. Back to Sai. Looks to put one into the box. It doesn't beat the first man, which is irritating. Sai doing his best to try and win the ball back, make amends for a really poor ball. Oh, for goodness sake, Cissé, if you're going to make a run, you've got to keep on running, my son. Oh, this could be danger! Oh, my goodness me. And that all comes from Cissé making a run and then stopping just as I decided to try and play the ball to him. It left us so, uh, so, so defensively weak at the back. And there's a reason why I can at top of the league... And it's this. Look at the pass to set up the centre forward and a finish to match. We've had all the chances. We've done all the running. But can, dare I say it, have all of the quality. It's a really tough pill to swallow for the Dunkirk fans. 
they've seen their team dominate this game and now they're 1-0 down and not much time to get back into it so 13 minutes left in this game can Dunkirk get something out of it here's Diara right hand side looking to make something happen he's got no support Dinks one into the middle. Parrot underneath it. Looks to win the header. Can't do so. Can win the header and then spray it out wide to Inusa. He's caught. That's good from Gotteni. Oh, no. That's a great save. Gotteni winning the ball and then immediately losing it. I think we're out of substitutes. No, we've got one left. So we're going to make one final substitution. And it's going to be Brunil to come off for Van Balahem. We're just going to advance both of these players slightly. And maybe drop Harrington slightly. Here we go. Let's see what we can do in the final few minutes. First things first, we need to get this clear and we need to get it onto the feet of a Dunkirk player. Kwagba, oh dear, oh dear. Well, there's not much that can be said about that. That is absolutely terrible defending from a corner kick. Kwagba knows he has to do better than that so simple far post goalkeeper didn't come for it Coagba didn't jump for it what else to do look at how high he jumps for it as well clearly he wanted it more and I think that is pretty much game Rochato Oh my goodness me, he doesn't even have the touch to take it around a man. And he's fresh. Kwagba, again, beaten in the air. We're going to have to do something about that central defence. Oh my good, what is that? Van Bellehem did not need to come for that ball. The goalkeeper had it all the way and we've conceded a corner as a result. Oh my god, what kind of a pass is that? And it's a free kick to Can, apparently. Oh my good, what? That's a free kick? Okay, fine, whatever. Obviously, the computer wants free. We deny them the third goal. Rochato picks up the ball, it's fouled. The referee gives nothing. Unbelievable referee. And then gives the foul to them. Come on, referee. And that's a yellow card, apparently. I am absolutely dumbfounded. It wants that third goal so badly. And Bellahem managing to win the header. Harrington. Rochato to Gotteni. Sorry, not Rochato at all. And there's the final whistle. It's been an awful day at the office for Dunkirk, who started so brightly and dominated the game all the way through until the first goal of the game was scored by Inusa on the 77th minute absolutely tore the Dunkirk defence apart thanks to Cissé getting a little bit above his station in terms of attacking ability making a run that fooled me into trying to pass to him and the moment I pressed the pass button he arrested his run it gave possession back to the opposition and uh, well the rest is history some lovely chances made by Dunkirk but couldn't finish it I mean that is 
that that really that's bread and butter you should be hitting it harder than that of of course get it on target but goodness gracious me that was absolutely awful from Chikunte well there we go uh, a game which can got into massively in the second half they had seven shots four on target I suppose we could probably look at this and say okay tactically we made an awful mistake I made a tactical mistake when I changed to the 4-2-3-1 formation. Should have stuck with 4-4-2. We were doing so well in that first half. The second half was a massive contrast. We managed to get four shots off and the one more on target, but really never looked like scoring. Inusa getting a seven. No surprise there. Sanun having a terrible day on the pitch with a 4.5 and nobody really doing much better. So let's have a look at the other results in League Dirt. Oh, I see Paris have won. That's not good for us. And here is the league table. And you can see we are now 17th. Only three points above the relegation zone. With uh, Paris having leapfrogged several places up the table ahead of us. And into that 13th place that we covet so much. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Grand Slam. It looks like we're going to be waiting a long old time before we win anything. Certainly, we're not going to be winning anything with this Dunkirk team. Uh, until next time, though, thank you very much for watching. Keep your fingers crossed that we can get some results in the bag. Uh, but I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.